Look at this. This is a coronavirus. Did you guys know coronavirus looks like this? As you pinch in and out, it gets bigger and smaller. You can also rotate it. When you zoom in a lot, you can see more details like this. Isn't this interesting? So, today I want to do a study session on coronavirus with you guys. There is an AR app called Jigspace on iPad, and using this app, as you scan with your camera like this, the coronavirus shows up on the screen where you can learn about it along with its shape. This app is pretty awesome, so I want to introduce it to you guys, and I'm hoping we can learn about coronavirus together. About Jigspace, it's a free app, so anyone can download it. Feel free to go ahead and download it now if you like. You can learn about so many things other than coronavirus too, so I highly suggest having it downloaded. Once you open the app, the first screen looks like this. So you can choose whichever you want to learn about. There are many options to choose from, but today let's go with coronavirus since it's been affecting all of us today. So click on this and tap go. This then starts the camera which will detect the surface of the ground. I'm using the new iPad Pro 2020 version, and this one detects it really fast. It used to take so much time using the older iPads, but new one does it so quickly, and I can tell they made such a huge progress. Anyway, tap the area you like, and then this object shows up. So this is the coronavirus. You can get closer to it, and when you move away from it, it disappears as you can see. Isn't this interesting? It feels so real. It even reflects the shadow, so it makes you think like it actually exists, but it doesn't as you get rid of your iPad, of course. And you can see it from different angles by doing like this. You can pinch in or out with your two fingers to make the cell of coronavirus bigger or smaller, and you can also rotate it using one finger like this. You could zoom in a lot like this, which reminds me by getting closer to the cell, you can actually see the inside of it. This was actually something I noticed while doing a tutorial, but you can see inside the cell by moving your iPad closer to it. I will show you again. By zooming in like this, look, you can see what it looks like inside the coronavirus. What's this? It looks a bit ugly, but it's impressive how they set details of the cell like this. And as you keep going like this, it disappears as it should. And as you come back, it shows you what's in between with its ability of space perception. It's very precise. There are many options you can find too. Even though you can't move the coronavirus like this, there's an option at the bottom right here to change its position. So tap here, which will then detect the surface again, and touch the screen to set the position. This is something technical about the new iPad Pro, but it's got kind of like a scanning system called a writer scanner for AR. And using that, it can even detect the height of the books right here, or detect something that's 5 meters away at most. It puts a light from the iPad and identifies the light reflected to find out what the object looks like, where the surface is located, etc. from what I heard. I'm not too familiar with AR, but all I know for sure is that it's pretty amazing. And as I'm using this, I find it interesting to see the differences in speed. It's fun as things go a lot smoother with this one. And what's interesting about this jig space is that you can actually learn about the coronavirus with the help of the description below here. It's only available in English, but you can read about it here, and there is an arrow on the right as you can see. This means proceed to the next step. What's written down here is that it started out with some patients with pneumonia in Wuhan, China around the end of 2019, and it's now known as COVID-19. And as you tap the arrow here, a new paragraph shows up. 
The caption at the bottom is different too. These green and blue cells appear as well as you can see. So this one is Mars and the one on the left is SARS. What they say down here is that these three of them, coronavirus, MERS, and SARS, are family that causes serious conditions among us human beings. You can see inside a cell of both MERS and SARS too, like this. I find this kind of AR app amazing as it's well elaborated. Next is animals. These animals showed up. They're around the coronavirus. I have to say that the quality of this animal isn't that great. But anyway, what it says at the bottom is that this coronavirus spreads among both animals and human beings. However, they're still not sure which animal was the first to spread the virus. They're assuming though that it most likely came from a bat. Okay, next we can see inside the coronavirus, even though it talks about the origin of the name coronavirus down here. The shape of the virus looks like a crown, and that's where the name Corona came from. Alright, next one. As you can see, it looks like a cell covered by the membrane. What it says is that once COVID-19 enters the body, it sneaks through the membrane of a cell and releases this thing called RNA that controls the cell, and that's why it can be tricky. I wasn't sure how this is related to the picture here, but feel free to zoom in and take a closer look. Next we have this person on the screen. It looks like she's coughing. What it says is that if someone is infected with COVID-19, it can quickly spread through respiratory droplets that are released when they cough or sneeze. On the next page, it says that when these droplets land, they can survive for hours and in some cases days outside a house, depending on the type of surface. But it's uncertain if the virus can infect people from surfaces. I find this jig space kind of funny because they draw things like cells and substances so realistic and in detail, but like human beings and animals seem kind of randomly drawn. But anyway, proceeding to the next step, it talks about possible measures we can take on. Wash hands, and the next page we have one more person here. Cover mouth and nose when coughing or sneezing. Next one says clean infected surfaces like door handles or tables. We have three people here now, and as you rotate, you can have them line up like this too. Okay, next we have a house. What it says here is that what's more important is to stay home. Distancing yourself from other people can reduce your chance of picking up the virus. I thought I could look inside a house and guess what, it worked! You can see how rooms are inside a house. It's well elaborated here too. Very interesting. Next is about distancing. It says that if you need to go out, it's best to stay 1 to 5 to 2 meters away from other people, as respiratory droplets usually only travel 1 meter. So if you ever need to talk to people, make sure to stay 2 meters away from them. I actually didn't know about this, so this was something new to me. At last we have the planet here. You can rotate it too. It says that the world unites in its search for a cure at the moment. And what we can do for now is wash hands, avoid large crowds, and self-isolate if you're feeling unwell. Oh, there was one more here. We have this person holding a bunch of toilet papers. It says, just remember, toilet paper isn't a cure. 
So basically, don't panic and buy too many of them as it doesn't help at all. In fact, it's very difficult to buy one here in Tokyo too. And I could finally manage to buy one yesterday. But anyway, let's not stock up and share with others who need it. And I think that's the message of this app as well. You can also record on this app. There is even a presentation mode on this app that can be used when you want to teach something about coronavirus, for instance, to others to do that. So feel free to give it a try if you're interested. On a side note, even though I talk about coronavirus using this app today, you can learn about different stuff on Jigspace, Coral Reef for instance, which is amazing. Once you tap the screen, these coral leaves appear like this where you can explore what it looks like inside them, the process of them dying step by step, etc. There's also this thing called the Battle of Marathon, and the book appears like this. It takes a story-based approach teaching you about the ancient Greek war on the book. It's pretty interesting. This is great when learning about history, so I highly recommend this for those who have kids as well. This is something I recommend for those who like edges. It teaches you about the system of a noise cancelling function. So you can learn about how noise cancelling works. For those who want to learn about space, there's something like this too. This is pretty interesting. Alright, so that's all for today. Today we had a study session on coronavirus using the app Jigspace. What do you think? If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And like today's video, I'm hoping to keep posting videos that can be fun and useful for you all. So please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for watching my video. Bye bye.